Hello and welcome. This video is an excerpt of our Udemy course, where it covers building and deploying five projects with React. If you are interested about the course, please check out the links in the description below. Hi there. In this section, we are going to build a quiz app using React and Material UI. You will learn and practice on building functional components with React and practice using the useState hook to manage state within the application. You will also learn and practice how to use components from Material UI like card, button, container, and more to build the app. Let's go through a quick demo of the app that we'll be building. As mentioned, it is a quiz app, so we'll be asked a few questions. And we can select the answer we want using the radio input. So I will answer the questions given and submit the form. After all the questions are answered, we will be shown the result screen, which shows how many questions we answered correctly. We can also retry the quiz if we want to by clicking on the retry button. So this is the app we will be building. See you in the next lecture. Now let's start to build the app. First of all, we want to initialize the app with npx create-react-app, and we can provide a name here. So I will name it quiz-app. After the app is initialized, we want to cd into the folder. And we want to install some dependencies. So run npm install at mui slash material at emotion slash react at emotion slash start. Now I'll hit return. After the dependencies are installed, we can run npm run start. Then our app should be running on localhost 3000. Now I'll open the folder with my co editor. So I'll go back to the terminal and open another tab. Then I'll run code space and dot. Now let's do some cleanup of our files. So open the src folder. And we want to select app.css, app.test.js, index.css, logo.spg, Report webvitals.js and setup test.js. And we want to delete these files. Now open the app.js file. In here, we want to remove all the imports. And I'm also going to remove all of the content within the div. In here, I'll write test. I will also remove the class name for the div. And save the file. Now open the index.js file. In here, we want to remove the import for index.css and also the import for report web vitals. We can also remove the lines at the bottom here and save the file. Now, if I go to the browser, the test text should appear on localhost 3000. Now, we want to set up Material UI. So, go to the browser and visit the Material UI official website. Then, Click on Get Started. In here, scroll down to find Roboto Phone, and we want to copy the link here. You can copy it by clicking on this Copy button here. Then go back to the code editor and open the public folder. Then open the index.html file. And we want to paste in the link under the manifest link and save the file. Now go back to the Material UI documentation and copy the phone icons link. And we also want to paste in the link inside the index.html file and save it. Now open the app.js file. At the top, we want to import CSS baseline from at MUI slash material. Then above the test text, I will add in CSS baseline and save the file. Now, if I go back to localhost 3000, I can see that the spacing around the test text is removed and the phone family of the text is also updated to Roboto. In this lecture, we want to first display a dummy question card on the UI, then gradually progress from there. So go to the Material UI official website then search for card on the search bar. 
So I'll type card and click on the card under the components section. Then we want to scroll down to find the outline card. We are going to copy the code for this component here. So click on the copy icon and we want to create a new file under the src folder called questioncard.js and paste in the code. Then save the file. Now let's first import this card component before we make any further adjustments. So open the app.js file and at the top we want to import question card from dot slash question card. Now I will remove the test text here and render question card. Now save the file. And on localhost 3000, our question card component should be rendered. Now we want to update this card to display the questions provided one at a time. So open the question card.js file. In here, I'll remove the bool component. I'll also remove the word of the day, typography. Then the adjective typography and the well-meaning and kindly typography. I will change the content of this typography to be question. And let's cut the card content and the card actions. Then I will replace the card declaration here with what I just cut. Then I will remove the card here and save the file. Now we are only left with this question text and this learn more button. Now we want to update the outline card to question card. And it will accept props. Then we take out question, which is an empty object by default, and question number from props. Then I'll update the question typography to display the question number. I will also add in another typography where sx is an object where it contains mb equals to 1.5. This is going to add some margin bottom to this component. Then we say color is equal to text dot dot secondary. Within the typography, we say question dot title. Now we want to update the button. So we pass in full width and variant will be outline. And the text will be submit. Now save the file. And our changes are applied. Now we want to render a list of radio inputs to allow users to select the answer they want for the question. So at the top, we want to import radio group from at MUI slash material slash radio group and import radio from at MUI slash material slash radio. We also want to import from control label from at MUI slash material slash form control label. And we want to import form control. So I'm just going to copy this import here and replace form control label with form control. Now scroll down to the second typography. Under it, we want to render form control. Within it, we render radio group. And we say the name is radio dash group dash quiz. Within the radio group, we want to render a list of question options. So we say question dot options dot map. Then we'll accept O and I. Now we want to return from control label. And we say key is equal to I plus one. Value is I plus one. Control is radio. And label is O dot description. Now we can close the form control label component and save the file. Currently we are having some errors because we haven't passed in the question to this component yet. 
So open the app.js file. And in here, we want to pass in the question. So let's provide a dummy question for now. So I will say question is an object where title is sample question and options is an array. And I will pass in two objects here. The first object will contain the description of answer one. And the second object will have the description of answer two. I will also pass in question number equals to one. Now, if I save the file, I can see that the question card is now displaying the question that was passed in. Now we want to keep track of which answer the user selected for the question. So open the question card.js file. Within the component, we say const value set value equals to react.use state and we pass in now. Then we create a function called handle change radio that will accept e and we want to run set value e.target.value. Now we want to update our radio group to use this value and the function here. So scroll down to the radio group and I will say value is equal to value. Then on change will be handle change radio and save the file. Now we should be able to select the answer for the question on the card. Now let's align this card to the center before we continue. So open the app.js file. At the top, we want to import box from MUI slash material. We also want to import container. Then above the question card component, I will add in box with sx equals to an object where height is 100 view height and display is flex. Then align items center. Now I will close the box and pass in a container component where max width is SM. Now I will move this question card component into the container and save the file. Now our question card is centered. Let's also add a background color to our app. So at the top, I will import light blue from MUI slash material slash colors. Then, then inside the SX prop of the box, I will add in background color equals to light blue and I will pass in 500 and save the file. Now we have this light blue background color on our app. Now we want to update our app to show all the questions one at a time and record the response of the user. First of all, I have created this folder called data and inside the folder, it contains a file called questions.js. If you have followed the note in the previous lecture, the questions.js file should contain an array of objects where each object is a question containing the title of the question, the options for the question, and also the correct answer for the question. Now open the app.js file. In here, we want to update our code to look through the questions. So at the top, we want to import questions from dot slash data slash questions. We also want to import use state from React. Within the app, we then write const current question index and set current question index equals to use state and by default it's going to be zero. Then we want to store the responses from the user. So we say const answers set answers equals to use state and by default it's going to be an empty array. Now we want to check if the user has answered all the questions. So we say cons finish quiz is equal to current question index equals to questions dot length. Then we want to take out the current question. So we say cons current question is equal to questions 
then we pass in current question index. Now we want to add in a function that can be used to go to the next question. So we say const go to next. Within here, we say set current question index, and we pass in a function that has access to previous state. And the new state will be previous state plus one. Now we define another function called submit answer. And it will accept value. Then we run set answers. And we'll pass in a function that has access to previous state. And we say the new state is an array. Then we spread out previous state and value. We also run go to next. So this function will be executed when the user clicks on the submit button. Now scroll down to the container. And within the container, we want to check if the quiz is finished. If it is, for now we just want to render now. Or else, we want to render the question card. So I'm going to cut this and move it to here. I will also update the question pro to current question and the question number to current question index plus one. I will also pass in submit answer equals to submit answer. Now for testing purpose, let's also display the answers given by the user. So under the container, I will add in a div and write json.stringify answers. Now we can save the file. Now we want to update the question card.js file to execute the submit answer function. So we take out submit answer from props. And within here, we add in a function called handle submit. Then we run submit answer to value. We also want to run set value to now. Then we pass in this handle submit function to the submit button. So we say on click is handle submit. Let's also disable this button if the value is null. Now save the file. Now we can test this out on the browser. So I will select the first option for this question and submit. And the answer is recorded in the answers array as you can see. Now I will select cat for this question and submit. Then I will select graphite for this question and submit. As you can see, the answers are being recorded in the answers array. In the next lesson, we will calculate how many questions the user answered correctly and display a result screen if the user has finished the quiz. Our app is almost completed. Now we want to display the result of how many questions the user answered correctly. First of all, create a new file under the src folder called result.js and I'll type RFC and tab to generate the boilerplate. At the top, I will import use memo from VM. I will also import typography, card, card content, card actions, and button from material UI. I will also import questions from dot slash data slash questions. And within the component, we want to take out answers from props. And we want to compute how many questions the user answered correctly. So we say cons correct answers is equal to use memo. And we return questions.filter. And we pass in a function that accepts Q and I. Then we return q.correct answer is equal to parse int answers. We pass in i. So this is going to filter out the questions the user answered correctly. Then we write dot link. And for the dependency of this use memo, it will be answers. Within the return statement, I'm going to remove the div here and render cut where variant is outline and sx equals to an object 
and we say PT is 3 and PB is 3. Within the card, we pass in card content. Then we pass in typography, where SX is equal to an object, where display is flex. Justify content is center. MB is 3. And we say variant is H4. Color is text dot secondary. And within the typography, we say result. Now we want to add in another typography. So I'm just going to copy this typography here, paste it, and I'll replace result with correct answers over questions dot link. Now we can save the file and open the m.js file. At the top, we import result from dot slash result and scroll to the component. So if the quiz is finished, we want to render the result component and we pass in answers. Let's also remove the div here that displays the answers in JSON and save the file. Now let's test this out on the browser. So I'm going to select the correct answers for all the questions. So for the first question, the answer is cherry blossom. And for the second question is red kangaroo. And for the third question is graphite. And I'm getting back three out of three for the result. Now if I refresh the page, and this time I'm going to answer all the questions incorrectly. So I will choose rose, cat, and silicon. This time I'm getting back zero out of three. Now as a final attempt, I will only answer one of the questions correctly. So I will choose cherry blossom, then I will choose elephant, and silicon. This time I'm getting back one out of three for the result. Let's also add in a feature that allows the user to restart the quiz if they want to. So open the app.js file. In here, we want to add in a new function called restart quiz. And it's going to set current question index to zero and set answers to an empty array. Then we want to pass in this restart quiz function to the result component and save the file. Now open the result.js file. And here we will take out restart quiz. And under the card content, we add in card actions. Within the card actions, we pass in a button. And we say on click is restart quiz. Then we say variant is outline. Within the button, we pass in the retry text. We also want to update the card actions to have the SX port. And within here, we say display flex, justify content, center. Now we can save the file and give this a try on the browser. Now I will go through the questions. And the retry button is being shown. If I click on it, now the first question is being displayed again. So I can re-attempt the quiz as many times as I want. Now we can deploy our app. To deploy this app, we will be using Netlify. If you don't have a Netlify account, you can create one for free by visiting app.netlify.com slash sign up. After you have created an account, go to Team Overview and go to the Sites section. Then click on Add New Site and deploy manually. Now we want to build our React app, so go to the terminal, and I'll open a new tab, and run npm run build. Then a build folder should be created inside our quiz app folder. Now what we can do is drag the folder to here. So I will open my finder, and drag the build folder to here. Now it's going to take some time, 
for the app to be deployed. After the app is deployed, it's going to display a URL that is hosting your app. So click on it. And we should be able to see our app running on the Netlify platform. So I'm just going to do some testing here. And it seems like our app is working. So there you have it. Our quiz app is completed. Feel free to replace the questions with your own questions and customize the app based on your preference.